A large airport can be an intimidating place, but the planners have put a lot of thought into trying to make your trip through the airport as easy and stress-free as possible. I always like to arrive at the airport in plenty of time. Numerous taxi drivers have told me of passengers in their car stuck in a traffic jam on the motorway watching their flight depart. Particularly Heathrow, if it is a morning flight, many would recommend going the night before and staying in a hotel. Hotels can be found relatively cheaply, especially if the hotel involved offers free or reduced parking for the duration of your holiday. We can help you with this search if that's the way you want to go. Hotels will also offer a shuttle service to the various terminals, as will the long-stay car parks. Once you arrive at the airport, you will be presented with a bewildering array of signs, notice boards, directions, all attempting to be helpful. Take a deep breath, go slowly and methodically. Heathrow and many large airports will offer a meet and assist program, which you have to book beforehand and they will look after everything for you. Heathrow also has an excellent website explaining what to look out for, facilities and assistance available and how to use the airport. But you can easily do everything yourself. When you enter you will see large signs indicating which zone you are in. Then have a look at the display boards to see which zone you need. In this example I'm taking flight TG911 run by Thai Airways to Bangkok at 11.50. You can see the check-in for this is Zone A, so go to Zone A. There are usually staff there to help you if you get lost or confused. If you have checked in online and got your seat, then all you have to do is go to the bag drop and get the airline to look after your luggage. Wave it goodbye and you will see this again in Bangkok. Then head to Immigration and Security. A link to Heathrow's own guide to get through security is here in the top right. Click on that. Once you are through security, you will be in the departure lounge. The first thing I do is check where I have to be to board the flight. Have a look at the boards. They will tell you where and when you have to be at the departure gate. Be aware that at large airports like Heathrow, it may take some considerable time to walk to the gate. When you checked in, you will have been given a boarding card. This tells you your boarding time. They don't tell you your gate as this can change so you have to keep your eyes on the boards, maybe checking every 15 minutes until such a time that the gate is allocated. In our example, flight TG911 to Bangkok is already telling us to go to gate B38, and the time planner tells us this is a 15 minute walk. The flight is at 11.50, it is now 10.42, the boarding time on the boarding card is 11.05, so we have plenty of time, but don't leave this until the last minute. It can take longer than you expect. Once you're at the departure gate, it is simply a matter of waiting until you are called to board. All relatively easy, but time consuming and a lot of walking. So take it easy, give yourself time.